Love and have life. Don't love and there is no life. Dear friends, the theme of today's uh, liturgy is an invitation for us to learn from the Lord how to love. And not only to love with words, but to love with actions, with deeds, good deeds. And every day we have the occasion to express that love. The love which is expressed in extending a hand, in giving life, in sharing a bit of myself to the other. And that is done every moment, every second of our lives. We have had today the people of God coming from exile, they receive the commandments. God never abandons his people. He has been journeying with them. He has freed them. And just as we too in our own exiles, we are always free every moment. There could be moments when we feel crushed down in life. And life seems to be a bit unfair. We feel like I don't taste anymore. I don't feel like living. I feel like everything is too heavy for me. Those are the exiles that we could be going through. But yet God comes and meets those exiles because he's all powerful. He's all knowing. He's a father who even takes the initiative. It is him, God, as a father who loves us first. It's not we who love him. It's him who loves us first and has always been sending messengers around us to take care of us, to remind us, to say courage. You're not alone. Let's move together. Those messengers are sitting near you here. Those messengers are at home in the family. It's your husband. Do your role as a messenger of God to encourage the wife. It's your wife doing everything you can in your power to be sweet and encourage the husband. It's the children try the best you can to encourage each other. Those are the messengers put aside us. It's a friend be, do something to help uplift someone. And we see, if you open our eyes, we see many people who need to feel that touch of a father, that touch in the situations that are difficult. Today, God sends the messenger Moses and he speaks the people and gives them the commandments. These commandments are basically commandments of love, meaning this is the important thing in our life. If we have love, we are peaceful, we are happy, and we make others happy. If we don't have life, we are empty, we are in crisis, we are broken. Whatever we do doesn't taste, and we feel that even the small thing becomes heavy because there's no life, no passion, no love into what I am doing. And Moses gives them the commandment, saying that, uh, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Meaning with all yourself. Dear friends, we have received the Lord from the Lord. The gift of life that we have is a gift not only for me. It's for all of us. How much do I use that gift for others? How much do I look every moment to see that I am doing something for my brother, my sister? Let us not begin from far away. Let's begin from our community. Let's begin from our family. Let us let begin from ourselves, our hearts inside us. Let everything begin from ourselves inside us. Because God reveals himself, especially in our hearts. God is in our hearts. It's very easy. You would have seen some people who travel long distances to look for God. They travel long distances, even climb mountains to look for God. They go through the sea to look for God. And yet the first place to look for God, who is so close to us, is in our hearts. How often do I visit my heart? Is there peace in my heart? Is there joy in my heart? Am I serene? The, God, the presence of God is shown in the peaceful, in the calm, in the harmony that I am without being agitated. And this is what we see. How we begin with our hearts to see that God is present in my heart and the Lord has planted the Holy Spirit in us. He is with us and this Spirit teaches us everything. He moves us. He's the motor. He's the engine. 
How am I using these gifts that the Spirit has given me to reach out to others? That is it. Let it begin from my heart. If I say I have God, let it begin with me and share that God's love to others. And the same God is in the hearts of our brothers and sisters. That's why we hear that in the gospel passage that we have heard today, we hear a scribe coming to Jesus, searching for God. He would have sought first of all for God, first of all from his heart, secondly from the brothers and sisters. But he comes to Jesus and says, what is the greatest commandment? Because they are seeing Jesus going around. He seems to be a great man. And he makes the question, what is the greatest commandment to Jesus? And Jesus listens and responds. This is a beautiful thing that when we are asked, we are invited to listen. This listening helps to calm down ourselves and others. And so he listens and responds and says, the first commandment, quoting the commandment which is shown in the Deuteronomy chapter 6 which we have had the first commandment is you should love your Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind he repeats the same and he says the two the second commandment love your neighbor as yourself he asks for one commandment Jesus gives him two commandments meaning the two commandments are like the two wings on which the bird or the plane flies in the air, on which our life moves. Our life will move with these two commands. We'll fly to the heavens when we love God and love our neighbor. As St. John says, how can we say we love God whom we don't see when we hate our neighbor whom we see? Let's remember that the, the Deuteronomy chapter 6, as we heard it, which is also repeated in the gospel, the loving God with all our heart or mind, is an invitation and the reminder that in order to have life, we have to love God with everything that we have. In order to have prosperity, we have to love God with everything that we have and that we are. To give back to God what he has given us. In order to have longer life, to live well today, we are invited to embrace the commandments, especially the commandment of love of God and love of neighbor. I can't begin doing many other things out there when here with me I am already scattered. I'm in pieces. When in my home everything is not going on well. We are invited that let everything begin from our community, from our home, where we learn a lot. We learn how to forgive, we learn how to share, how to be generous. Everything begins from home. And let everything begin from our community they will be energized to go out and share this love to all the people that we encounter in our journey of life. And who is my neighbor, dear friends? Our neighbor is the husband nearby, is the wife, is the children, is the teacher, is the doctors around us, is other nurses, is everyone that is in need, are the students. Our neighbor is everyone around. And to love doesn't mean concretely to just or rush into, I don't know which kind of great miracles that we do. Love consists in doing the small things with much love. Wishing well the other, taking the other as a human being and trying to listen to that person, to understand that person and to see if there is something I can do. If I can't do, to see how to bring in others to do something. Let us pray in this Eucharist, dear friends, that we may continue never getting tired of loving God. Because the greatest commandment that Jesus gave us was, I give you a commandment that you should love each other as I have loved you. When we do not know how to love, let's look at Jesus and he will teach us. Because he himself, who was great, a master, humbled himself. He was not afraid to come down to our level, to identify ourselves, to that in himself, to express his love shown through the simple actions that were there. It's not about doing great things and dreaming of great things, but beginning with the simple actions that these actions make great impact to us and to our brothers and sisters. The Lord bless you and keep you, and may the Lord grant you peace, dear friends. And may the Lord teach us how to love 
And because by loving God, above all, we are loving our neighbor. We can't say we love God when we hate our neighbor. This Lord teaches us how to forgive and how to let go and how to start again and how to reconcile and find peace with him and share this peace and love to all the people we meet. Amen. Amen.